Have you ever wondered about a time when many would turn away from the faith they once held dear? This is not just a hypothetical scenario, it's a prophesied reality known as the Great Apostasy. Picture a world where beliefs are abandoned, not by those unfamiliar with the truth, but by those who once embraced it. This isn't a tale of rebellion against authorities or governments. It's a story of a spiritual shift, a turning away from the core of Christian faith and practice. It's a significant, heart-wrenching departure happening within the very walls of the church, a phenomenon that both alarms and challenges us. The Great Apostasy isn't just a concept, it's a prophetic insight into a time of widespread spiritual upheaval foretold in the scriptures and echoed by voices of faith throughout centuries. Join us as we delve into the profound topic, uncovering its biblical roots, its implications for today, and how we as believers can navigate these turbulent times with wisdom and faith. The great apostasy as foretold in the Bible paints a vivid picture of a spiritual landscape transformed by rebellion and loss of faith. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, we are warned that in latter times some will abandon their faith, lured away by deceiving spirits and teachings that defy the divine. This prophecy is echoed in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, where the Apostle Paul cautions against being deceived for before the day of the Lord comes, a great falling away or apostasy must occur. Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 24, verse 10 through 14, speaks of a time when many will fall away, betray one another, and hate one another with false prophets leading many astray. This period is marked by an increase in lawlessness and a cooling of love among many. Yet, amidst these troubling predictions, there is a message of hope. Those who endure to the end will be saved. This prophecy of the great apostasy is not just a warning. It's a call to steadfastness and vigilance in our faith journey. Central to the narrative of the great apostasy is the figure known as the man of lawlessness, a pivotal character in the eschatological prophecies of the Bible. Described in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, this individual embodies rebellion against God, elevated himself above all that is considered holy. He is often equated with the Antichrist, a figure of deception and opposition to Christ. This man of lawlessness opposes and exalts himself against every form of worship and proclaims himself to be God, committing the ultimate act of sacrilege. His appearance signifies a crucial moment in the unfolding of end time events marking a period where deception and apostasy reach their zenith. Understanding the role of this figure is key to comprehending the full scope of the great apostasy and its implications for the world and the faith community. In today's spiritual landscape, signs of the great apostasy are increasingly evident as noted by influential Christian leaders. Pastor David Jeremiah, 
highlights a concerning trend, pastors and churches straying from biblical truth, which he sees as a fulfillment of the prophesied falling away. He observes pastors renouncing their faith, grappling with moral failures, and a general decline in adherence to scriptural principles. This shift is not just about changing doctrines, but a deeper spiritual decay where core Christian values are being questioned and abandoned. Jeremiah's insights serve as a wake-up call, urging believers to steadfastly hold on to biblical truth and resist the tide of spiritual compromise and decline. The great apostasy is distinct in that it occurs within the church itself, a fact that can be startling and disheartening for many believers. This isn't about those outside the faith rejecting Christian beliefs. It's about those within the church turning away from the teachings and practices they once held dear. This apostasy represents a profound shift where they, where the very institution meant to uphold and spread faith becomes a ground for its erosion. It's a stark reminder that vigilance in faith is not just an external requirement, but an internal necessity urging us to continually nurture and protect the core of our belief system against the subtle encroachments of false teachings and spiritual complacency. In the context of the end times, the great apostasy serves as a precursor to Christ's second coming. Scripture links this widespread falling away directly within the arrival of the man of lawlessness and the unfolding of the end time events. Jesus, Paul, and Peter all indicate that this period of apostasy is part of God's sovereign plan, allowing the gospel to reach all nations before the final events of the end times commence. This divine timing is not arbitrary, but purposeful, extending grace to humanity while preparing the world for the ultimate culmination of God's redemptive plan. The eventual removal of the restraint on the man of lawlessness signifies the nearing of these climatic events, underscoring the urgency of spreading the gospel and remaining faithful amidst growing spiritual challenges. As we navigate these challenges, these challenging times marked by signs of the great apostasy, it's crucial for us as believers to remain vigilant and steadfast in our faith. The Bible warnings about this period are not just to alarm us, but to prepare and fortify us in our spiritual journey. It's a call to cling tighter to the truth of Scripture, to discern wisely and to live out our faith with renewed commitment.